Alexis, darling, such a pleasure to see you. You're supposed to be dead. I don't know. Not before laying eyes on you again, darling. Ma, what, what do you want me to do, Ricard? I want you to kidnap her daughter, Jocelyn. My niece. Dr. Keenan. Sorry. I think we uh, have to talk about what's going on. Take it. Come on, five minutes and run off your private. Dr. Keenan, Dante and I were just visiting with Olivia. Steve's with her now. She seems fine. Well, she's fussing about, making jokes, asking when she can get out of the hospital. Are you asking me when she'll be released? Or? No, no. Look, you said she would have side effects from the LSD. She's having these episodes. Last night, she wanted to check her appearance, and she looked in the mirror, and she saw Heather Weber's reflection instead of her own. Yeah, and then Lulu and I come to visit, and she sees Lulu is pregnant. And not a baby bump, but nine months along. I'm sure there are women that monitor every little blip in their body, but I'm not one of them. Look, Lily, you don't want to find out why you're late? I'm not pregnant. I use birth control. <laughs> every single time. The odds are against it. Which means that there's a possibility. Why not find out for sure? There is the potential for what some people refer to as acid flashbacks. And I think, I think this is what Olivia experienced. Excuse me. Uh, wait, what, is there any way to prevent these from happening? No. Not really, but they do become less frequent over time. The Weber should be in, in a padded cell for the rest of her life for what she did to my mother. Olivia's gonna be fine, Dante. I was assured that you were not only shot by a high-powered rifle, but you fell into the harbor and drowned. I know, I'm a really strong swimmer. Okay, fine. You're not dead. Why are you here? Oh, wow, so abrupt. I might even say hostile. I mean, don't you want to chat a little? catch up on our respective lives. You didn't ask, but uh, Mother's doing very well. I don't see her regularly, of course. Don't expect me to play along with your games. We are not old friends, and we are not catching up. Well, you're right about one thing. We were much more than friends. This is worn out for your arrest. It's risky to be here. So why are you here? Isn't it obvious? For you, of course. Alexis. Is there anything at all that we can do for just, her? Just keep doing what you're doing. Uh, visit her, be supportive, and uh, just give it some time, okay? I'm telling you, if my mother doesn't come back from this, someone will be held responsible. That's all this is. Get some gelato for your mom. Uh, hazelnut? Is that her favorite? Yeah. All right. If Lulu's looking for me, just tell her I'll be back in a bit. Dante and I want to have a family someday, but uh, we need a timetable. We, we are, would buy a house for well, a house? Thinking. You're really thinking about real estate well, right now? I, we're, we plan stuff. You saw how I reacted when I went into a partnership with Johnny without yeah, him well, telling well, slow her. Down, okay? Well, slow down. You're telling me to have a baby. I'm telling you to take a test to see if you're going to have a baby. Well, I'm not going to have a baby because we haven't even discussed it. Look, you can't be that surprised. You are newlyweds. We use precautions. Okay, so maybe you're not pregnant, but you did miss your period, which means something could be wrong, right? You need to find out. You came back for me? Yes, I did. What does that mean? What does it mean? Well, I don't think I can state it more clearly. I care about you, and I've never stopped. So why did you try to kill all the people that I care about? Oh, well, I assure you, it's not personal. No, I was either paid or they were in the way. Oh. Yes. Because that explains everything. Yes, you see, I occasionally do great harm to people, but it doesn't change the way I feel about you or the way you feel about me. I loathe you. Really? Don't you feel that electricity, that chemistry between us? This is really pathetic. That you think you could just drop out of the sky or walk out of the harbor or whatever it is you did. And then I'm going to forget how psychotic you are and how much you hurt people, not to mention your brother. Oh, we're not talking about Jack. Oh, no. We're talking about you. And you? Are you sure you don't really want me? I don't want you, Jerry. Ah, uh, who's lying? Tommy. Where are you off to? Uh, oh, well, not the reaction I was hoping for, but not a complete surprise. Mm. Anything I felt for you was based on a lie. Well, I'm afraid I have to disagree. Some of our closest moments were when I told you the awful truth. 
I deluded myself into thinking because you were Jazz's brother that there was an ounce of goodness in you. My mistake. Oh, are you sure? Maybe there is some goodness lurking somewhere waiting for the right occasion, the right person to bring it out. Hmm? Hmm? You didn't come back for me, Jerry. I assure you, I did. I mean, you're wonderful company. I, uh, I remember. Well, I'm not the DA anymore. But I am an officer of the court, so I'm afraid I'm going to have to call the police. <laughs> Be my guest. How's Patrick? Oh, I didn't see him. Why not? Is he gone? I mean, I had a wardrobe malfunction, and Lulu went for a needle and threatened a thimble. <laughs> okay. Uh, I'm going to get this gelato to my mom before it melts. Um, see you later. Yeah, I, you keep saying that okay, over and over. I know that's weird because normally I'm only freaking out and you're giving me the advice. Hey, maybe you're hormonal, which would mean further proof that Can you're you pregnant. I didn't mean to stop. <sighs> okay, well, I'm just saying that you and Dante are married, so you should probably have a really serious conversation about how you feel about starting a family. And whatever's on that pregnancy test is probably going to impact. <laughs> You should know that death hasn't changed you a bit. Oh, I take that as a compliment, darling. You're devoid of ethics, principle, anything resembling a soul. Oh, I have a soul, Alexis. I mean, you're probably one of the only ones who witnessed it. What'd you do to my phone? Oh, your phone? Nothing. Uh, the satellite, on the other hand, the one you depend on for the signal to the police dispatch, that's another story. You moved the satellite? I moved the satellite. Unlock the door. Or what? Fun's over. I'm done. But I'm not. Not by a long shot. Forgive me. I had no choice. You gonna shoot me? Mm, no. Hand me by my thumbs? No. Toss me out of the helicopter that you clearly have. I um, don't think so. Perhaps so what's the plan, Jerry? Yeah, I've missed the way you veer between courtroom detachment and borderline hysteria. It's really, really quite endearing. What are you doing? Relax, Alexis. Relax. Relax! This one hurts a bit. I promise. So? What does the test say? Are you pregnant? Uh, how's the uh, wardrobe malfunction? Oh, it's all good. Good. So, how's your mom? She's sleeping. Cool. Uh, I'm gonna go check on Patrick. So, you two can, you know, whatever. <laughs> I know she's your best friend, but, but she's weird Maxie, sometimes. So how was the gelato and your mom? Yeah, it was good. I ate half of it. <laughs> Want to get out of here? Yeah. Uh, there's something that I want to show you. All right, what? What? what is it? <laughs> it's kind of a surprise. Uh, yeah. As much as I would love to, I don't have time to talk. I never wanted any harm to come to you. Hear me? Johnny! Jocelyn's missing! Wow, who would have thought? Maxie is pregnant. 